was a friendly but naive king who wed a very nasty queen. The king was loved, but the queen was feared. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and I figured I'll record one more because I just got some news in uh, right before I started recording this. Uh, actually, it came in right around the time of the the first video, but I just didn't see it until I finished recording. So once I uploaded all that to my computer, I was like, oh wait, look at this. Like while, you know, cause while it's uploading, I like surf the web and stuff. And I was like, wow, look at that. Capcom actually released a couple new images uh, from the upcoming Resident Evil 8 video game. Uh, obviously there's been some massive leaks for Resident Evil 8. I won't be talking about them on this channel. I haven't even looked at them. Um, it's, you know, story leaks. And really the only reason I play Resident Evil is kind of for the story. I kind of get into the characters and the world that they're building and stuff like that. And the world they expand on with each new video game. So I'm, I'm not really interested in looking at the leaks and stuff right now. But uh, I do, I am interested in like, you know, figuring out maybe when this game might come out. And we're still not sure. What, like based off of uh, some information that came out today with these three images, I think it's just Capcom trying to keep it together obviously these leaks are really bad for the company um, which sucks i wish people out there weren't into that kind of stuff with hacking and leaks and things like that they do it because they can and i, I totally understand that um but for a company like capcom who is on the rise financially and was doing actually really well over the past few years with the uh, resident evil 7 and then the remakes of 2 and 3 and stuff like sales were up uh monster hunter was doing well monster hunter iceborne did well like they're actually on the rise and and really noticeable as a as a positive game company that's putting out really great content for a lot of people even though i didn't like resident evil 3 remake too much still a lot of people did and so so they're doing great you know the, a lot of companies out there like ea who are kind of scummy companies capcom is the opposite they're just trying to put out quality stuff and so for a company like that to get hit with these hacks and these leaks it's really sucks you know because um people i don't think realize sometimes or maybe they do and that's why they do it but when you roll out a new release for something, like I worked in toys for many years with Lego. I still work at Lego now again, but it's like they, um, you know, they have to plan information and when it's going to get out there so they can optimize, um, you know, press for it and uh, and get investors, you know, so they can know when to keep an eye out for this news and see people's excitement for it. And there's a lot of planning that goes in. It's a lot of money spent on marketing and things like that. And so when things just leak, it just, it hurts big time. And then there are people out there who, they'll just read the leaks and they just won't go play the game. Now, I feel like most Resident Evil fans will still buy the game, so I don't think it's in any danger of losing money from Resident Evil fans when leaks come out, for sure. But um, mass audience people, like uh, people that go beyond just the hardcore fans, and a lot of times I don't think people ever factor that in. They don't factor in movies make billions of dollars not because hardcore fans go and see them two or three times. That helps, for sure, but it's because everyday people go see them and sometimes two or three times also. When you can cast your net that wide, that's how sales go up. Resident Evil 7 sales were great. Resident Evil 2 sales, really good. Three, I think, were lower, but give it time, I'm sure it'll still sell over time, um, especially with the online game that came with it, Resistance, or whatever it was called. Uh, I only played it like two or three times. Um, but that's, so the point is basically like, average people will get this news and information and it might just make them go, eh, I'll wait, you know, it sounds for like a fine game, but I can wait for it to go down to 20 bucks or whatever, anything like that. And that's that's a shame. We want the game to sell well, so that way Capcom can continue this streak that they're on and keep releasing games, maybe do a remake of 4 at some point or a remake of other things. Code Veronica, maybe. Wink, wink. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. But I, I, I just hate things that come out like that that hurt the company. Um, but, uh, but overall, though, Capcom seems like they're trying to stay positive about it. They release these three images. So we'll put the first one up there that you can see there. It's just kind of like a shot of a castle with like crows or something flying around, which is great. Hopefully that's confirmation that the crows are back in these games. That'd be awesome to try to shoot crows in first person. That could be both frustrating and fun because they did like bugs in the last game, but I would, uh, you know, that flew around and came up to the camera. It'd be cool to see crows in this one. Um, but then we also have, uh, this, you know, werewolf looking thing that, you know, see in the snow. I thought that was a really cool image. just kind of creeping back there. These images came out through IGN, by the way. So you'll probably see their watermark on those images there. Um, but yeah, so this was an article linked to IGN. So I'll put a link to that down below. If you guys want to go check out that article. And that's, that's just a really creepy shot of this like werewolf lichen type creature uh, hanging out in the snow. Um, but the, the real reveal for me, at least, because I haven't been following the leaks. So I don't know if something like this already came out. 
but it's this creature, this big, hairy monster creature with a giant uh, hammer, which reminds me a lot of the Executioner from the Resident Evil uh, 5 video game. Um, and then also there was like creatures like that and uh, and some of the other ones too. Like, But uh, but yeah, the Resident Evil 5 had this big uh, guy named the Executioner, which ended up in one of the movies, I think. Um, and then he had like this big hammer. I think he was in two of the movies. Uh, I think he was in four, uh, four after, it was called Afterlife, and the fifth one, which is called Retribution, which is easily the, the worst of the franchise, in my opinion. Not that any of them are that good, but the fifth one is definitely the worst. Um, but yeah, the, so the Executioner, he's a he's a pretty well-known character as far as people who played five and enjoy five. Um, and even if you didn't enjoy five, he's iconic in that game. He's pretty scary. Uh, but the uh, he's kind of like the chainsaw guy from four, but just bigger and more intense. Um, so there's that. Um, so I, I kind of like that, the, you know, this mirrors that. Like he's got a big mallet. So that shows, and I think we saw him jump off a roof in one of the earlier videos where there was like something jumped off a roof and had it was holding a hammer. Um, so yeah, I think it's just probably that creature again, but now we just get a clear view of it. But he's got like whiskers. He's kind of cat-like looking. It, it's really weird. And I'm, I'm really curious to see the direction this is going in. I mean, it's very different, but I like that. I like evolution is a good thing. We always talk about the hamster wheel of storytelling and how characters always seem to be in the same wheelhouse, like the same hamster wheel. They can't ever really grow. Stories can't ever really evolve. They always have to reset and go back to zero. Resident Evil 7 was a great way to go back to zero, but still forward the, the world of Resident Evil. And although I'm shocked to see them do that again so soon, it's kind of needed too because the, the uh, I guess, the uh, what are they, the fungus monsters from the, uh, the seventh video game, they were very specific to Evelyn and that world. Like Evelyn ended up washed on the shores of this house and was able to like um, connect with this fungus underneath the house and build it up to make these ooze type monsters. So it's very specific to that environment and that event uh, from Resident Evil 7. So to continue those monsters, without another Evelyn would make no sense. So doing this and going a completely new direction could be really interesting. And if it's done well, could be the future of Resident Evil, where we go from here. Or it could be the end of how we see Resident Evil currently and allow them to go back to zero again later on or just go in a completely new direction with Resident Evil 9 one day. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, with these images, I'm just kind of pumped. And that last image with the creepy guy with the whiskers and stuff was just really cool. And I had to share these and talk about them because we've been talking a lot about, about the movies and stuff. But uh, we haven't really talked about the games in like maybe 10 or 12 episodes now. So now here we are talking about the games again. So let me know what you think of these three images and read the article down below if you want to check that out. And also um, they did an interview with Shinji Mikami recently and looking back at his time as a video game creator because obviously 2021 is the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil, so I'm so excited to be making content of Resident Evil and actually having a show that went past like five episodes. Now we're like 30-something episodes in, and we're going to be talking about Resident Evil, the movies, the Netflix stuff, um, you know, both the live-action show and the CGI show, um, Resident Evil 8, and any other news and games and merchandise and stuff they release next year, we'll talk all about it. But if you want to see kind of Shinji Mikami's uh, reaction to Resident Evil and where it's uh, started and where it's gone and where it is now and stuff. I'll put the link to that down below too because I thought that was a really interesting article. So I'll share that and the IGN one down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. We'll continue our conversation down there. All right, now I got two Venom vlogs to record and then I got to get some sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.